Hi guys and welcome to another Divi tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in our last video we showed you how to create a shop module pop-up using the Divi Supreme modules which we'll be using today. Today let's have a button that opens up a contact form. How's that? And it just pops in just like that. Let's close it up. Really easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I need to do is what we did yesterday. If you've not done this before, you need to go down to Divi Supreme Pro when you've got it installed. Make sure you've got enable Divi pop-up switch set to on like that. Once it's on, save your changes. So let's get started on this. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, I'm going to go down to where I want to work. I've got a row of three here. Let's just add a module, black one to add a new module here, or dark gray one. Light gray modules are all the ones that come as standard with the Divi theme. The dark blue purpley ones are the ones you get with Divi Supreme modules. And it adds about 40 modules, and they keep adding new ones. They're really handy. I'm actually just going to use a regular Divi module today. I'm going to use a call to action. There we are right there. As you can see, it's put it in. Now, as it's contact for, put something like that. And for the button text, I'll say contact us. I'll just change that background color same as I did in that one above. Take the opacity down a bit, make it a little bit paler. There we go, that's fine. Now to get the, the button to actually do something, we have to go to the link. I'm just going to put a hashtag in there because it's going to link to our pop-up. When they click on this, it's going to link to our pop-up contact form. So we're good to go with that part of it. Let's just save that. Now, I actually haven't got a contact form. What this does, if I show you, let's let's go back in here and I'll show you what's going to happen. If I go over to advanced now and down to visibility, at the bottom, because we've checked this little switch right here, you're going to see this use pop-up switch. I'm going to put it to on. And I want to choose a layout. I want a layout to pop up. But I want this contact form to pop up that I've not got saved to the library. So let's just save that for a moment. Let's save this now to our library. I'm going to go to the actual row that it's in. I'm going to save the whole row. And I'm going to hit this little button right here. It says save row to library. I'll give it a name. I'll just call it contact. Now, because I hadn't had this pre-saved, we're going to want, want to save this page and check our library. So let's just save what we've got going on here. And I'm going to refresh the page. I'm keeping the Visual Builder open. When it's reloaded, let's go down to where we were working. Now that we've refreshed, that module that we save should hopefully show up in our library. So we'll go back into this module. We'll go over to advanced, to visibility, and down to pop-ups where we turn the little switch on. Layout, let's see if we can find that contact in our Divi library now. And there it is right at the bottom there, contact, fantastic. Great, and how do we want it to open? Well, we only want it to open when they click the button there, not the whole module. We did the whole module with our last one. So let's click this and say button click. Close the trigger, that's outside, that's fine. You can auto close it if you want to. Uh, how do we want it to fade in? It really doesn't matter. Say swing in fade out, let's bounce out, it's when you close it, 
Center is fine for me. Absolute position means it'll stick right in the middle where we want it. I don't want it to be full width. Max width of 680 is fine for me. That's going to work on most mobile devices too. And you've got overlay options and colors. Show a close button, which is fine. Inside, that's fine too. Choose the icon font size for your closing button right here. 24 pixels is plenty big enough. And you can choose the icon from this list of ele elegant themes icons right there. By default, it chooses the X for you, which works for most applications. And we've got button background color, close button icon color. Everything's good for me. I'm going to leave that as is. So let's just save this now. Save our page changes and exit the visual builder. Let's go down to where we were working and check that out. So when we click on this, it should pop up with our contact form. And there it is. Fantastic. They can fill it out and then go ahead and send it when they're ready and just close that down. That's a nice little feature right there. If you notice mine when I clicked it has no background there. The reason that is when I save this, when I save the row below, this has no background color. It's just showing the, the white background. If you wanted to have a background in this, simply put a background on your row before you save it. So I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.